Hey everyone, this is Brian at Legacy Escape Box. Today I'm going to show you how you can use bottles in an escape room. We're going to use marbles in conjunction with our bottles. So in this example, um, I have 320 marbles. We're actually not going to use that many, but we will use a few marbles to make an escape room puzzle with these bottles. You might have different kinds of bottles in your house. Uh, this one is a chalk bottle. So to get started, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to label each one of these bottles. So this one, uh, I'm going to write pi on it as a symbol. So pi, wrote the pi symbol on that bottle. This one I'm going to do something a little bit larger. I'm going to write infinity. So I've got the infinity sign on that bottle. Uh, you might have other bottles in your escape room. Uh, this one I'm going to write Magna Carta on one and I'm simply just going to tape it to the bottle. You might want to use this example, obviously you can come up with your own examples, um, but I just wanted to do this because I can show you that there are plenty of different ways uh, that you can label your bottles. So chalk over here, this one is just going to be simply uh, paper and tape. So I'm going to write that on that one. Uh, the other one I wrote three squared and I'm going to tape this one to this uh, ball jar. All right. All right, now we're gonna use marbles and we can decide how many marbles we wanna put in each jar. So we'll take the lid off of these. Um, we'll drop uh, three marbles into the pie jar. I'm gonna write that down so I remember it. Three marbles um, into uh, the next jar, the infinity jar, we'll put in four marbles. I'm gonna write that down. The next jar, uh, we'll call it uh, Magna Carta. We'll put in one marble. Good thing that didn't break. And in the last jar, uh, three squared, we'll put in three, four, five, six, seven marbles. All right, seven marbles into three squared. Okay, so this is an easy puzzle. Once you get your marbles in those jars, your participants simply have to figure out the order of the jars, and then count how many marbles are in each jar. And how many marbles there are is gonna be the code to your lock. The proper order is going to be pi 3.14, three squared, the answer is nine. So 3.14, then nine. Uh, Magna Carta, actually 1215. So that would go here. Infinity, well, that's a big number, equal to infinity. So the correct order is 3.14 pi, then three squared, which is nine, then 1215 for Magna Carta, then infinity. Obviously, you can do a lot of different things here. You can do math equations, you can do translations, you could write eins for uh, German into the number one, uno is Spanish for one. You can do a million different things to have different numbers here uh, equaled here. So, um, the answer to our puzzle, uh, we have three marbles in the pie jar. Number nine, we have seven marbles. The Magna Carta, we have one marble. In infinity, we had four marbles. So, once they find these, they can count the marbles. That means your code is gonna be 3714. 3714 is gonna open your lock. That's a super easy way that you can use bottles and marbles in an escape room at home. Um, feel free to let me know how this goes for you. There's a million ways to write in new numbers and dates and other things that you can use. Uh, obviously, uh, you can write history lessons with this. You can do scientific formulas. You can do a million different things to come up with numbers. Put everything in order, then count the number of items inside. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.